If you are curious about the function of Fuji X-H2S, then follow this video because today I'm going to try all different modes of high frame rates. And in order to have some comparison, I also want to use my Canon R5. So follow me and let's see the result at the end of this video. For this test, I'm going to use my Fujilion 1655mm f2.8 and for my Canon, I'm going to use my 35mm. So let's go and see the shots.
got a lot of shots. So go back to my studio. We're gonna check the results together. Let's go. Well, we are back to my studio, and as you saw the shots, uh, we have different modes. And right now, I want to show you on the screen about the setup and the settings of my camera. So together, we can go through the details and we can understand it much better. So here is my panel, camera panel. We, uh, we come to high speed recording. I put it here on 240. Let's go a bit further here. Um, if you see it here, with a full HD 120 frame, uh, because I didn't have external monitor, it works only with HDMI external monitor, which I didn't have it. So that's why I, I tried all these ones with full HD 240. Uh, the difference is that when you go with full HD 120 frame, the outcome is also 120. But when you go with 240 with full HD, the outcome is different as you see here. I mean, when you are recording with 240, the outcome is different, the external outcome. So as you see here, it is changing. So with different slow motions, four times, two times, it is just what you have to select based on what you need, which I tried all of them and I mentioned them in my videos. So as you see, there are different outcomes. On the other hand, we have 4K, 4K with 120 or 100 frames, but it doesn't matter. I mean, because outcome is different. Outcome is maximum 60 frame, as you see it here. So let me play this for you and you can see all different options with 4K. See 4K, 120, the outcome is almost 60 frame. So with full HD, 240 outcome is still is 60 frame. So there is not that kind of, you know, details which you want to open up with this 4K. And this is where I want to explain you when you go with this um, setting, when it comes to this media recording setting, um, you have some limited options to record your videos. Look at here. So there are only these three options for you to, uh, to be recorded all i 40 or long gop uh 40 or all i 42 so uh, we have this limitation with that setting but let me go further i show you the difference i have all of them recorded for you in different modes which you can see in the videos with this setting with 4k of course but i'm gonna here change it right When it comes to full HD, 240, the story is different. In this menu, all the options are open for you. As you see, all of them are there and gives you more variation for the modes to record with.
well we all saw the shots and videos together so at the beginning of this video i mentioned that i'm gonna use my canon r5 but that's not a kind of a comparison video i just wanted to use my canon r5 to make uh, to make and see the differences between my xh2s and the shots which i'm gonna record by canon for this uh, slow motion with fuji I found some kind of a weakness by recording full HD 120 frames because I need one uh, external monitor to be connected and to be recorded and the outcome to be 120 frames. But with uh, Canon, I don't have this device, external devices. I can easily go with 4K 120 frames and the outcome is there. Uh, but when I come to Fuji, and recorded with 4K 120, the outcome drops. It is like 60 frames. And uh, if I want to record the slow motion mode with Fuji, I prefer to go with 4K 100 or 4K 120. The result is better. But still, I cannot say that's so professional for professional projects. And if you go with 240, no, the quality is not that what you want. And the quality dropped and there, there are a lot of noises in it. So it's not going to be used for professional projects. So if it comes to me, if I want to select a camera to go with this slow motion mode, I prefer to use my Canon R5. But it's still, Fuji is doing not bad. But with this weakness, I think next time, maybe in the next generation, it can be modified or can be promoted. Fuji XH2S came to the market with a very big supporting and variation of different options for video shooting. And there are all different options and which you can use for your video shooting in 4K or 6K. But against all these kind of advantages with video shooting, I think when it comes to the slow motion, you, you face suddenly with a kind of a limitation. Uh, for example, it's so good that you have this 240 frames with Fuji, but the quality is not what you expect it to be. Uh, and it's so noisy, as I said. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope you enjoyed and it was useful for you. I would be so happy if you subscribe to my channel and support me to make uh, more videos. Until my next video, see you later.